I look good. Y'all look good? Yeah, all right, cool. All right, right there. My good side. All, right, all the cameras didn't move over there. Uh, everything, man. We work and sacrifice all our time, all year, so we can play. So, um, a lot of people are talking about our future games, but we're so excited to play this one game and um, one game at a time. So, Portland State is what we're looking at, and um, they're going to be ready. They're going to come in our stadium and they're going to try to smack us. So, uh, I'm excited now. Um, everything that we come to play. I mean, Portland State is. Uh, just like every other team on our schedule, and, uh, we want to win all our games. So we want to show that we came to play. And not only that, but our younger guys are there to play. And uh, we're going to try to be consistent with with our uh, technique and yeah, all that. Bring your thoughts up. It sounds like your team's thoughts are pretty solid with that. I mean, they grabbed it in the second half of the game against the Kansas State team. So what are your thoughts about that and how you approach it? Uh, you just got to. A game is a game. Like, you don't want to lose any game. So every practice you get, first of all, is, you know, it could be your last. It's never guaranteed. So uh, we're trying to play with that mindset that uh, you got to play like every day is your last. Every game is your last. For me, I'm a senior, and, uh, you know, these games could be my last. So um, they're special to us seniors and um, the rest of the team because uh, last year we played SUU, and they came. They played physical. Uh, they tried to smack us in the mouth, and um, Portland State is going to do the same. They're going to try to come and win in our stadium, make our fans quiet and all that. So uh, we just got to come and get better each week. So. You see the study material over the last few weeks, obviously starting day one, information on what to expect in this game. Yeah, um, we've done a lot of walkthroughs and um, kind of gone against their defense, uh, seen what we can do, um, really worked on our technique against their front and uh, how we can work on our strengths to uh, play their D and like kind of do our scheme. So. against a team, like you said, fired up with them, you know, and with you guys giving yourselves a chance to win, how important is it to get off to them? Uh, every, it means everything. Like, it's super important because uh, you want to carry that momentum, right? So if you lose the first game, you're going to be like, oh, dang, well, we better go win our second game. But if you win that first game and, you know, really win that game as a team, and then your second game is like, we did it. Like, come on, let's build more. We can, we can get better. We're better than that. And um, it's just momentum that always picks up. And even on a smaller level, at the game itself, how important is that first quarter, for example, to come out and you know kind of set the tone for the game? Yeah, it sets the tone for everything. If you come out flat, then um, sometimes it can be a struggle to kind of pick up. But if you come off right off the bat, then uh, right off the ball every play, um, you can kind of ride that momentum, ride that excitement. You don't feel as tired or as gassed. You don't feel hurt. Um, the excitement takes over. The adrenaline takes over. So, How game ready do you think this offensive line is? I... That's kind of a hard question um, because for us, we're always trying to be better. Uh, we're never at the point that we want to be because if you are, then you start. It's just like an uphill battle. If uh, you're not moving, then you're going backwards. And uh, we try to keep that mindset. So every day we're trying to get better. Even if we have the best practice of our lives, we're trying to get better and work on those things. So um, for that question, I mean, we'll see when game day comes. Uh, but we're never at the point that we want to be. We're always working and trying to perfect our craft. Where do you think you got better from the start of camp four weeks ago to today? Uh, a lot has changed. I think, uh, first of all, it's probably been one of the most physical camps that I've been a part of, both offense and defense. We've been super physical, really uh, uh, getting after each other. Um, but also consistency-wise, I think that we've been more consistent on getting our assignment, knowing our assignment, and uh, being able to do our responsibilities. And while being physical, sometimes it can be hard uh, to be physical and know your assignment because you know, thinking so much, but um, we've been able to kind of bring those together and really try to bring our consistency to the table. So. You had a visitor today. Yep. What, what does that do game week, you know, just kind of to have someone like that come and talk to you guys? And yeah, it's exciting. Um, for people that don't know, it's uh, the guy from the movie Invincible. I don't know if you've ever watched that uh, great movie, but um, he came and kind of talked to us about how, like, it was an impossible task that he, he had and he was able to accomplish it and um, you know, dream big, and no matter how big your dreams are, uh, work, and you can accomplish it and do anything. So um, I think it got the team pumped up. It's game week. There's a whole nother vibe. You know, the whole camp, you're kind of like the guy across from you is kind of your enemy, kind of, until you get into the locker room. Um, but now, like, it's game week. So 
we're more bonded together and we're trying to accomplish our dreams, which is, uh, you know, winning our games together. So I think that it brought a lot of excitement. When you just finished as captain, you talked earlier in the year with Brad and or some of those guys talked about it, that they wanted to bring one of you to every practice. Does it felt like sometimes it comes to lull? How do you feel like the team was able to do during camp of keeping that energy level high and not fail in that goal? Uh, great. I mean, um, we got a lot of guys that are excited about football. And when you kind of verbally, you know, talk during practice, you're like, let's go, guys. Let's have a great day. Um, that kind of We feed off of that. We feed off of that. We get in the huddle, you're kind of tired, and someone's like, let's go. Let's go beat them up. Then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. So um, we all feed off of each other, and the excitement has been, uh, it's been really high. We have a lot of leaders on the team that are experienced, been in games for how many years, and um, that excitement has been up all camp. So. Very excited. I mean, um, when you're doing practice, you got to kind of have a balance, right? You want to be physical, but you don't want to hurt your own player. Um, when you go against another team, you don't have to have any of those. I mean, you don't want to hurt anybody. That's like something you never wish on somebody, but you don't have to hold back. You can kind of just let loose and uh, do your thing. So um, very excited. Thanks, guys.